Hi everyone, I am Dishant. I am a PhD student at IIT Delhi and I will be presenting our work on FPT approximation for constraint metric K-median and K-means problem. So first let me define the K-median problem. In the K-median problem, we are given a set of points in a metric space. And metric space is a space in which distances follows triangle inequality. So basically, if you take any three points in the space, then the distance from A to B is going to be less than the sum of the distances of other two sides. And we call this set of points as the client set C. And in the same metric space, we are also given a set of feasible facility locations that we call capital L. Now, the concept is that a client goes to a facility to avail some kind of service. However, we have only limited number of facilities. We have only K facilities that we want to open at some of these facility locations. So we want to open these facilities such that the sum of transportation cost of all the clients is minimized. And this is what K-median problem asks. It asks us to find a set of K facilities such that the total transportation cost is minimized. And this cost is given by the objective function phi, which is basically the sum of the transportation cost of individual clients. And here, capital D denotes the distance of the client to its closest facility. And this is how we define the k-median problem. And similarly, we can also define the k-means problem, where we simply take the square distances instead of normal distances. And it also gives the clustering of the entire data set. But in this work, we are going to discuss a more general version of the k-median problem that we call the constraint k-median problem. This problem is defined in the same way. We are given a set of clients and we are also given a feasible set of facility locations. But now we have some additional constraints that are imposed on these clients. For example, consider this data set and suppose I do a normal k-median clustering of this data set, then I will obtain the clusters like this. Now, note that in the top left cluster, only three clients are assigned to that facility. And in the bottommost cluster, many clients are assigned to that facilities. And this is an unequal distribution of load among the facilities. And in many resource allocation problems, we want an almost equal distribution of load among the facilities. So basically we want a clustering like this in which the clients are almost equally distributed among the facilities. And this gives rise to the upper bounded k median problem. Similarly, we can also define the lower bounded k median problem. And in this work, we consider nine constraint k-median problems, and all these problems are known to be np hard. Informally saying, for all these problems, we cannot obtain the optimal solution using any polynomial time running algorithm. Therefore, instead of obtaining the optimal solution, we try to obtain a solution that is close to the optimal, but we try to do it in polynomial time. And such type of algorithms are known as the approximation algorithms. For example, if an algorithm obtains the solution, which is at most two times of the optimal, then such an algorithm has an approximation guarantee of two. Similarly, if an algorithm obtains a solution which is at most three times of the optimal, then this is also an approximation algorithm, but with an approximation guarantee of three. So now let us see what are the approximation algorithms that we already know of these problems. So these are the best approximation guarantees that we know of these problems. And note that for many of these problems, no approximation algorithm is known yet. And for the problems for which we do know the approximation algorithm, the approximation guarantees are very high. Therefore, we try to design the algorithms with better approximation guarantees. And in this work, we design a three approximation algorithm for the constraint k-median problem and a nine approximation algorithm for constraint k-means problem. And the running time of our algorithm is polynomial in n, but for small values of k. And such type of algorithms are known as fixed parameter tractable algorithm. And using it, we get nice approximation guarantees for all these problems.